What's up, Stripe Nation? Blake Alberts here with B&B Lawn Care. Beautiful day here in Kansas City. We're about to get some work done here today. Running two trucks. Got to get a B-Ride out of that trailer. They're going to take that. And do Friday yards. I'm not sure what happened to my microphone, so I'm recording this audio after the fact. But we're going out to work. We're going out to make money. I've got a rock job starting tomorrow. And uh, we're making money, baby. Alright guys, so we're trying I'm I'm trying to get straight to the point of things. I know you guys are busy, so I'm trying to get these sh videos a lot shorter. With that being said, I wanted to real quick announce the GIE tickets are on sale now. Check the links down below. Uh, they're like 50% off right now using my link, and I think they're like $10. So, use my link, go get them now. The price only goes up from here. Anyways, we are it's Thursday at 4 o'clock. I'm starting to get poured on now. As you can see, I'm wet. I just ran to lock up the gates and lock everything up, the trailer, drop my trailer and everything. Um, super busy. I have a lot of things going on right now and I wanna tell you about them because I need your help. If you could comment down below, I need your help with something. I need to know the pros, any of your guys' experience with buying a dump, but I want to buy a dump trailer. I need to know if what if you've bought one, would you do it again? And how has your business changed? How has that dump trailer added value? It, it's uh, about forty five hundred dollars. It's a twelve foot dump trailer. Local buddy of mine, um, new tarp and everything like that. Let me know down below. Um, the second thing, it's Thursday at four o'clock and we are done with all of our lawns for the week. It's, uh, it didn't happen magically. We book ourselves out all week, Monday through Friday. Let me tell you how that happened, because it's a rare thing, especially in the springtime when we're double cutting a lot of lawns. Um, we had five people working yesterday. Five of us, uh, my, my, myself included, but four guys and myself, which makes five, Working, I dude, I don't even know how many lawns we got done. It, it was like probably 30 something lawns, which is crazy for us. Uh, you guys know our lawns are, I mean, decent sized lawns, like pretty good sized lawns. Um, we're done, we just got done. We were running two crews all week, um, and I got a new employee. Yesterday was Austin's last, last day full time with me. Um, like I've mentioned in the last video, he's still gonna, he's still gonna help out here um, in the evenings, help with maintenance and things like that. But his last full day, so we had, we had four guys. It was like, it was madness, but it was awesome. We got so much work done. Um, but I, I wanted to come to one last point, and I told you I want to make this video short and sweet for you. Um, in your life and in your business, and you guys will experience this, the second you get a truck, everybody's going to call you because they're going to want to move something. They're going to want to pick up a couch. Can you pick this up for me? Can I borrow this? <clears throat> this is the hardest thing, and I still deal with this to this day um, because everybody everybody knows that I have a lawn and landscape company. I have trailers and trucks and things like that. Your family, your friends, everybody's going to ask you to borrow equipment. And this is funny because my buddy Grant's probably going to watch this and he's borrowing my trailer this week, which is literally no big deal. I would tell him no if I didn't want him to do it. But 
there are certain things that I let people borrow of mine and there are certain things that I let I don't let people borrow of mine because I've experienced like you have to learn from experiences so those of you that have had a bad time with lending your stuff out to people which most of the time it ends up not good um, you never let that happen again so listen and I've had um, I've had tons of people in my life ask to borrow trucks I've had um, I've had employees I've had friends I've had family ask to borrow can I borrow a truck can I borrow a truck and trailer we're doing this this weekend it's are you working this weekend it, I don't care and this we're gonna get this serious this is this is getting serious here for a second because you guys know I'm all about numbers I'm all about logical like making decision decisions logically um, I don't care if that truck's working or not I it has to show up for work on Monday you don't know what is going to happen let's say I lend out my truck to somebody this weekend family friend I don't care who it is I don't care who it is and a tire goes flat in it and they wreck into a, uh, a barrier on the highway and they do tons of damage whatever I don't know what everybody's insurance situation is I have no clue um, and it's not like you're gonna ask your friends to can I review your insurance policy before I lend you my truck most people are like no nah, just take it man uh, not me uh, I I have to be the bad guy the mean person when it comes to certain things and say no family or friend you just can't borrow my truck because that truck is what put and guys you get me into these rant moments I, I go down a rabbit hole that truck that mower that I don't care if it's a trimmer a blower the trailer those are what puts a roof over your family's head that is what pays your bills um, don't let anybody tell you otherwise those are just as valuable as your employees are and your employees are just as value is valuable as that all of this is part of a working system and I don't care if it's a weekend a weekday it doesn't matter to me all days are important the um, that truck being able to show up for work on Monday I, I can't just have it out running all around I don't lend out my tools like there's just certain things like like my buddies taking my trailer that trailer you can go hit it with a hammer a million times and it's not gonna matter it's gonna come back to work on Monday okay but you know that's like a, one of the rare things like I wouldn't go lending out my gas can like and I know people want to ask for it but like that's how I see it that your gas cans never gonna come back dude like there's just certain things and listen if you haven't if you haven't dealt with that you will wait till somebody needs to pick something up from Nebraska Furniture Mart wait till somebody start moving I mean it's just happens so much and you have to just buck up and say no anyways that's it short video leave me in the comment down below let me know what you think of a dump trailer 4500 bucks it's good shape it's probably five years old um, let me know how it's changed your business and if I should invest in that um, that's that's the debate of the day and I appreciate you guys watching hope you have a great rest of your day it's raining man uh, tomorrow I'm doing maintenance on the mowers and then we're starting a huge rock job so we're done with mowing, but we're not done working. That's it, guys. Hope you have a great rest of your day. And thanks for watching. Peace.